Here we are in Macedonia recording the music a year after Sarah and I met. I met Josephine a year ago and we um, hit it off really well. I wanted a big epic sound like they had in those Hollywood um, blockbusters. It was a very interesting creative challenge to give a sense of the epic with the format of a short film telling intimate stories of a few characters. I really needed to work with somebody who could bring the quality of that to the film, the films of the 60s, Chinichita, the Hollywood epics. I then developed the material and come up with a series of demos and ideas for the various sections of the film. I then send them back to Josephine and we'll have meetings working out what maybe needs changing. I'll then go back to the drawing board and um, rework, retweak, change timings, change tempos. And finally, we came up with a complete score that both of us were happy with and that we really were excited to then actually put in front of the live musicians, which again then transforms and leads the music like nothing else can. So I have a string section, I have a brass section, woodwind and percussion, piano, harp, celesta. But I also had to combine some other instruments to give the Italian 60s flavour. So I've chosen to include drum kit and electric bass and accordion, which gives this, this a really unique sound palette. The music creates a the character of the film to life, especially the, the role of the story, the, the uh, Sophia's story. I needed to portray a journey of a young, innocent girl who falls in love, she gets her heart broken, but at the same time she has a fantastic experience. Sophia's theme is the strongest theme in the whole um, score, and it recurs because we're seeing the world through her eyes, really. The film is a love letter to film, and Sarah's written music, which is a love letter to film music. I think that's come over really well.